Hello everyone. Let us now discuss how can we solve this problem. Find the minimum amount of time to brew potions. So instead of considering this description, which is very hard to understand, consider this description. You are given two integer arrays, speed and difficulties. The length of N and M respectively. In a burger joint, N chefs must prepare M burgers in order. So, each burger has a difficulty level, difficulty of J, and must pass through all the chefs sequentially to be cooked properly. That means, if a burger has to be prepared or burger has to be made, it should be passed through every chef sequentially. Remember that sequentially we need to pass the burger through. The time taken by the ith chef on the jth burger. So, I am repeating it again. The time taken by the ith chef on the jth burger is time ij is equal to speed of i into difficulty of j. Since the cooking process is delicate, a burger must be passed to the next chef immediately after the current chef completes their work. This means the timing must be synchronized so that each chef begins working on a burger exactly when it arrives. So, let us consider this point synchronized so that each chef begins working on a burger exactly when it arrives. That means, if a burger is uh, done by a worker, then immediately he need to pass the burger to another sorry, chef instead of worker. Imagine him as a chef. Now, return the number of uh, minimum amount of time required for all burgers to be cooked properly. So, here the difficulty is given something as 5142. So, here it means there are M burgers and we are having N chefs. So, these are the chefs. Now, my Problem is at zero. I would be starting solving solving this problem at zero. I would be starting solving this problem, right? So the time taken by this chef, time taken by this chef to cook the burger zero, which is having a difficulty of five. So cook the burger zero. Cook the burger zero is having a time of 5 into 1. As I said, time ij is equal to difficulty of i into speed of j. So, it would be 1 into 5, which is 5. Now, after that, the same burger is passed after this word, uh, chef to another chef. At the same moment, this burger is passed so, this burger from this chef is passed to this chef at the moment so 5, after 5. Now, what is the time taken by chef 1? Chef 1. This is chef 0 and this is chef 1. What is the time taken by chef 1? To cook the burger 0, which is 5 into 5, 25. But, but, will you take 25? No. Because the end time of burger 0 by worker 1 is not 25. It is instead 30, which is maximum, uh, right? Just consider this 5. He is ending at 5 and he is taking 25 minutes to complete the burger, his work on burger 0. So, the total time is 30. Now, this burger is passed over to uh, chef so, this burger is passed over to chef 2. Now, chef 2 is having a speed of 2. So, 5 into 2 would be 10. So, if I add 10 more minutes, then it would become 40. So, now the burger is at chef 2 and this should be transferred or given to chef 3. Now, let me take this chef 3 and let me uh, include him in the work and this burger 0 is given to chef 0 uh, sorry chef 3 now chef 3 takes 5 into 4 minutes of time 5 into 4 is 20 
so it would give me 60 minutes now here comes the actual question if you see here if you take the same example he is uh, giving something like 52 53 58 but i thought something like this person would start at 61 but please be careful at this point of time at this point he would not start at 5 so he would consider these two things here here if i place something like here i am considering this so sorry here i am considering this as i now my burger 0 is completed is it is completed now i am working on burger 1 now here is my pointer of m uh, in the burger so these are the burgers now i am having one as the difficulty now let us see what happens here so at this moment of time what is the maximum from these two i will tell you why i am taking the maximum of these two which is five so add five to the current time if i add five to the current time it would be one into one which is one which is five plus one it is six now what are the maximum from these two but why i am taking this maximum of these two you will get to know about this when i when we get to another uh, iteration so from 6 and 30 it is 30 which is maximum so i add 1 into 5 which is 35 so 35 is added from these two the maximum is 40 so if i add 40 then uh, 40 to 4 in uh, sorry 1 into 2 it would become 42 and if i add so in these two the maximum is 60 if i add 1 into 4 it with, uh, which would become 64 now here comes the question how we are taking this now he is taking the maximum time of 64 for burger 1 but see here 64 and 42 if i remove if i remove what is the time taken by this chef 3 chef 3 is taking only 4 minutes now why shouldn't i just start my iteration from 60 itself so i'll do that 60 and then here 64 this is the whole intuition of this question now this person chef 2 is taking of time 1 into 2 only 2 minutes why shouldn't i take start from 35 to 60 when i can just take the time of i have removed only i am taking only 4 minutes for chef 3 from 60 to 64 now i am taking i want to take only 2 minutes so i would remove only 2 minutes from this uh, 60 then i would get 58 instead of 35 it would get 58 now i am getting only 1 into 5 which is 5 so why should i instead start with 6 35 42 and 64 so i would end at 64 making burger 1 by chef 3 and he would take 64 from starting at 60 he would start at 60 and end at 64 this chef 2 will start at 58 and end at 60 for burger 1 and this person chef 3 is completed chef 2 is completed chef 1 is taking 5 minutes so i would simply remove 5 minutes from 58 and i would get 53 now this is the time taken by chef 1 53 to 58 is the time taken by chef 1 but the 1 1 into 1 is the time taken by chef 0 so if i remove 1 for chef 0 it would become 52 so this is the whole intuition for this question first thing what i am doing here let me write it let me write it here let me write it here here i am going from forward here i am going from backward so my intuition is wait a second my intuition is the burger is given to another chef only when 
only when the burger is completed by previous chef previous chef for example for example let us take let us take chef 1 takes burger uh, something like 0 burger 0 chef takes burger 0 only when chef 0 completes his cooking sorry cooking cooking on burger 0 now after that when does this also uh, burger is only taking this chef uh, only when sh previous chef is completed his work now after this chef then only he is taking this burger but i would go go to another burger only when the previous previous burger is completed completely cooked right it is completely cooked by all the previous previous chefs so if and only if the burger is completely cooked then only another burger is started for work so now from 52 this person starts cooking chef zero starts for cooking from uh, 52 to 53 and then 53 uh, 53 to 58 bar by chef one and 58 to 16 by chef two and then 60 to 64 by chef three now another thing which we need to do is this considering this four now let me consider that again so here i am taking four as the difficulty so i am uh, taking another burger to be cooked another burger to be cooked now i have another burger to be cooked which is four right here i have four now this is the difficulty and i am taking the first one first chef the first chef would be starting from the maximum of these two why the maximum of these two because he is starting his work at 52 and ending at 53 you can't assign a new burger at the starting point you can't give two burgers at a time for only one chef no you cannot do that so at the end time only the new burger would be assigned for chef zero so chef zero is starting his work on burger one from 52 and ended at 53 so i would take the maximum from these two that's why i said that hold on to know why we are taking the maximum from these two the adjacent ends now let us take 52 and 53 for chef zero so the 53 would be the maximum now if i add 4 into 1 which is 4 to 53 it take 57 now if i add 4 into 5 20 to 58 but remember i only add i only add to the maximum the maximum from these two is 58 so chef 1 completed his work at 58 then only I would add, then only I would add the work or then only I would give him the burger 2. So 58 is the end point for chef 1 on burger 1. So I would add 5 into 4, 20 to 58. It would be 78. Now, see clearly, see clearly. Now, 78 is the maximum time. So if I add 4 into 2, 8. 78 it would be 78 plus 8 86 86 is the end time here at this time 86 is the maximum time taken to complete this burger till chef 2 now let us see what happens from these two 86 and 64 the maximum is 86 so 4 into 4 
is 16. So, 16 plus i to 6 would give me 102. 102. Now, here comes the actual equation. Here, I am going from the forward. Here, I need to go from the backward. Now, if I go from backward, I would get 102 and I need to remove. I need to remove what I need to remove. So, 4 into 4 is 16. Chef 3 is needed only 16 minutes to complete his uh, work on burger 2. So, if I remove 16, it would be 86. Now, Chef 2 would require 4 into 2 only 8 minutes. If I remove 8 minutes, it would be 8 minus uh, uh, 86 minus 8, it would be 78. If I remove 4 into 5, 20, 4 into 5, 20, then it would be only 58. Then 4 into 1, if I remove 4 into 1, then it would be 54. So, I think this is up to now clear for you. So, let me write the algorithm for you. Now, let me write the algorithm here. Algorithm. Now, I am going from I school to I like. Let me go with J. J is less than M. So, J plus plus. In this, I am going from 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. I am every time checking i plus 1 and i. So, let me name it something like done. Done of i plus 1 is equal to maximum of done of i comma done of i plus 1 plus I need speed of something into into difficulty difficulty of what is this difficulty difficulty of j difficulty of j and speed of i now after that after that here it would be iterating from for for i is equal to 0 and i is lesser than n and so on then i plus plus after that here it would be for i would go from the right to left to decrement one by one so i is equal to n minus one i is greater than or equal to zero i minus minus now done of i would be done of i plus one minus minus speed of speed of i into difficulty difficulty of j so after that done of n is written at the last so if you see here is the done of last uh, last value so done of i is done of i plus one if you see clearly for this point i have removed 102 sorry 16 from 102 and i have initialized this here so for that done of i is equal to done of i plus 1 minus speed of i into difficulty of j so if you have any doubts this is quite tricky question and it is a greedy approach now if you want any uh, explanation uh, more than this so you can comment in the comment section i will give you reply there itself and if you like this video do share it to your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you